What's up, YouTube? It's me, KK Jeans, here with another Zelda Breath of the Wild walkthrough slash playthrough. And without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so we are here in Goron City, and I've already got my uh, task set for uh, the Divine Beast for here, Va Rudanya, but we are first, we are going to go and see what Goron City has to offer. First things first. All right, so we are here in the clothes shop, and as you can see, there's the rest of the armor. The flame breaker boots are 700. We've already got the flame breaker armor, but otherwise it's 600. And the flame breaker helm is 2,000. So now I've already sold some stuff and got some money, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the flame breaker helm. And the flame breaker boots. Uh -huh. ah. And now keep in mind that switching to these will, yes, help you with heat, but you are not going to be quiet. You are going to be loud. You can hear it as I'm walking. It's super loud. All right, so there is a shrine, but we are going to worry about that later. So in here... This is the inn. You can come in here to sleep. Same as any other place. Also, we've got him here, which he's asleep, so I'm going to go ahead and leave him alone for now. And then here we've got a little store. Gonna need that. Oh, here's another pot that needs to be broken. So, priorities, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so now we're going to come in here. And now he's got some fire arrows, some ice arrows. And we need some Goron Spice. So I'm going to go ahead and buy up his store. Because why not? And then... This is also a store. He sells... Uh, toasted foods. Uh, I mean, if you want to buy those, go ahead. But you could just go right outside the city and put food on the ground and it's going to roast them up. But there's a cooking pot here. And... We've got this guy... He's super upset, and he's got a side quest for us, so let's go ahead and talk to him. He's talking about his reckless brother who hasn't come back. Um, His little brother, Gon Goron, he's really proud of him, but he said he was going to go dig up the secret of the hero, and then he just took off. And he don't know what in the world got into him, and we're going to ask him where did he go. He's pretty sure he went to the Gorko Tunnel, southwest of Gorko Lake. Uh, the bedrock in that tunnel is incredibly hard, so the Gorons gave up trying to dig it out ages ago. And instead of chasing dreams, they prefer... Or he says he'd prefer to see him face reality and help us out with our important Goron work. Um, so that is a shrine quest that we will worry about at a later time. Um, that one's kind of a pain in the butt. So yeah, we'll definitely get to that. And that's it for the stores and stuff, so let's go find the head honcho and have a chit-chat with him. Alright, he's upset with Rudania. Uh, why, uh, with Rudania one in wild recently, Death Mountain's eruptions have gotten real bad. Do you see Rudania stomping around up there up on the mountain? They say a hundred years ago it actually used to protect our people from harm. But that was then, and this is now. Now all it does is mess up our mining operations. We're all suffering because it's stopping us from doing our business. I can't tell you how many times we've used the cannon to chase off that fiend, but it always comes back. Oh, are you okay? Oh, just some back pain? That's nothing. I'm not all about back pain. 
So then you came all this way to pay your respects to me. I like you already, brother. Well, my name is Bluto. I'm the great Goron boss who's fearsome enough to silence a crying child or to make a science silence a child cry either way. Yes, it's none other than I, Bluto. I was planning to drive off Rudania like I always do, but this blasted pain in my back flared up out of nowhere. That blasted Yonobo. When will he return? Who's Yonobo? Yonobo's young Goron who helps me drive off Rudania. He went to grab some painkillers for my back from the abandoned North Mine, but he hasn't come back yet. Slacker. I bet he's off somewhere wasting time. Hey, if you happen to see Yonobo, will you let him know I'm looking for him? Oh, that sounds bad, man. You should go see a doctor. Yeah, ouch. All right. So now we have a new objective. All right. So if we look at this, it shows us that we want to go to the abandoned North Mine. So if we look at the map, we can see he's telling us to go here. So we are going to follow this path down and around. Right to where we need to go. Now... Oh, yeah, see, I'm already going the wrong way. So we want to go this way. And uh, note before we stop is there is a goddess statue here if you happen to have orbs. I don't have enough yet, but I will. So we're just going to make our way up this path. And I think we'll actually go ahead and stop and do that shrine real quick, too. After this. Alright, and just to show our location, we are right up here, just north of Goron City. And this shrine is called... Shea Mosa Shrine. This is Swinging Flames. So we come right over here. And we've got this little floor switch. You see that it opens the door, but that's not good enough, is it? Nope. We need to set this on fire. There is a stone barrel up there. And this is what we are going to use to hold that down. And now here we are again with the leaves, and I don't think I can knock that over. Sometimes you can just knock these over. But I'm just going to grab a regular arrow, set it ablaze, and now we can access our chest. Stone Smasher, definitely want that. So I'm going to get rid of this tree branch. I don't know why I have a tree branch. That seems crazy. Thought we were past that. This one is really good. This is a 42. That's that's gonna really come in handy. Alright, so you can see that there's some other stuff going on. We got this guy. It's still so I can shoot you. Since we have the Stone Smasher, we do not need that. Because you might be able to see these little sneakies. But they're here. Alright, so we got another chest back here.
with a ruby. Very nice. Anything else in here? No, it doesn't look like it. All right, so we see we've got a locked door. That's going to lead us through more. So let's go find the key. So here we've got some steps. We've got this thing. Set everything on fire. That's going to release that. There goes that. And we will get to that ball in just a minute, but we do have a chest back here. With 10 ice arrows. Very nice, very nice. I don't think we want to go down there. Okay, I don't know why they let us go back up here, but you can see that that ball is being blocked there. So we need to get that door unlocked. And this door. And we're going to start with this. So that's going to release that. Alright, I'm just going to run. Get over there because as soon as that wheel stops, that door is going to close again. So there's another chest in here. And there's our small key. And now since we are locked in here, we're going to take this ramp up. I just wanted to see if it was possible, but they make these things so slick that you can't get through them. All right, now we're going to take our key and we're going to open this door. We're going to come up here. We got all kinds of swinging... Swinging lamps here. Set everything on fire. Just for fun. Now watch out because there is a hole there. We're going to put the stone barrel on this floor switch. Double check. There's nothing else in this room besides a gaping hole. Alright, now let's take a look at our map. Yep, we can see that the treasure chest symbol is after the name, so all of the chests in this shrine have been received. Alright, that was fun, and now it's morning. Now, I don't know if you heard it when I went in there, but... He was shooting stuff at me. But we're gonna keep following this path. Go find Yunobo. And here we are at the abandoned North Mine. Yeesh! What's going on today? So many people out and about... You should know it's getting hotter past here, and there's also lots of monsters, and it's really dangerous. Yeah, but we're looking for you know, well, yeah, strangers like us. Boss wants to know. Yes, boss does. Then I guess you better get to Yonobo. He went to the vault to fetch some painkillers, but now to mention it, I suppose he never came back. Way to pay attention, guy. This place is super dangerous, so you probably shouldn't go looking for him. Nope. You are a jerk. Alright, so... First things first. 
We're gonna go right up to Boss's Cannon. And Drac is gonna tell us to stop, because that's Boss's Cannon. And to definitely not touch that lever. So I'm going to put a bomb in there. And I'm definitely going to hit the lever. See that, Lizolpo? Ignite. Boom. There he goes. Gone. I'm gonna do it again. Well, I guess there was something there. Okay. Alright, so now we want to make it to this blinking yellow circle. Is that is where we are going to find Yanobu. Yanobo. Yanobo. Don't fall in the lava. It's gonna hurt a lot. And now those are just fire breath dragons, and of course we er not dragons, cheese, fire breath Lithalfos. So we could just shoot them with ice, or we could use this. It's really hard to pick up their parts anyway, even if you shoot them, like, you've got to get close and avoid all of their shots, because once you hit them and those parts fall onto the ground, it's going to start cooking them, and eventually they will disappear. Of certain things. stuff's already burning up. Oh, wow. What a good shot. Got him. Alright, so we are going to go down to this cannon. Place a circular bomb in there. We want to blow up that. And we could have blown up that. I'm pretty sure this thing is set up so that you can just blow them all up instead of doing what I had just done. But either way it works. Oh, I got some fire arrows up here. And they're trying to shoot at me again. Just try not to get hit. You can either shoot ice arrows at them. Or there's a cannon up here. Just take these wind pockets right on up. It's really fun to blow these guys up though, for real. <laughs> See how fun that is? All right, go to the next spot. Oh, it didn't get them. Yeah, I'm right next to him, so I'm able to grab that stuff, but you can see that it was definitely starting to burn up.
go to this one. Blow these guys up. And we're going to want to go up there because there is a chest up there. Let's see. Okay, so we've got another spot there that needs to be blown up. So I'm going to come back over to this cannon. Hit the lever, and once it gets all the way over there, to that thing, blow that up. Alright, so we know that Unobo's over on the other side there. But you can see the... Um... What's blocking him in. We need the cannon in order to blow up. We can't actually do anything with it ourselves. So now we want to go over there. And we're going to talk to Yonobu. Oh man, oh man, oh man. What am I going to do? Monsters! They're here! So, meet Yonobu. So he realizes that I'm a Hylian and I broke through that crag to rescue him. And we're looking for Yonobu, so that's it. Boss told you to come find me, thank goodness. In any case, I am sure glad you saved me, Goro. The name's Yonobu, everyone calls me Yonobu. Makes sense, Goro. I came to get some painkillers for boss, but a magma bomb caused a rock slide sealing the entrance, Goro. By the way, how did you break those rocks at the entrance? With a cannon. Huh? Oh, you used boss's cannon? Yeah, we did. We don't care. Yeah, we don't have time to chat. We need to get him his painkillers. So, yeah, I will see you later. I'm sure there's a reward in it for you. Then goodbye. Bye. We'll miss you. Roly poly. Well, you know Link. He doesn't do anything without something being in it for him. So, of course, there's all kinds of stuff in here. All right, so now we need to make our way back to boss over here. And now there are many ways that you can do it. You can fly across, whatever, but I'm just going to quickly teleport. 
I'll meet you there. All right, so we are just gonna go back to boss. That was a little unnecessary, I know, but it was still kind of fun. Yes, Tiny Traveler, Yunobo told you all about me in the three seconds that he got here before me. Oh, I guess this is our reward. <laughs> Not everything we took from the other place. You check your painkillers, you think you're gonna go meet up with Yunobu, but you are old. Yeah, we know Daru, because, you know, we're pretty famous, man. Protect this land of ours to the death. Right, little guy? <laughs> hey, by the way, congrats on becoming the princess's appointed knight. That's a really big deal, protecting the king's daughter. <laughs> no pressure. Seriously, though, the princess is a strong personality. So strong, she can't quite see the range for the peaks. Remember that, and you'll be fine. Huh? What the? <laughs> All right. So what was I saying? That was a little strange. As far as I know, Death Mountain has been quiet for decades. But if the mountain is shivering enough to send out a bunch of boulders that size, then never mind. Forget I said anything. What's gotten into you? Hylians sure are strange. Anyway, Yunobo is actually a descendant of the Great Daruk. That's why that slacker can't even use Daruk's protection. He uses it to protect himself when we fire at Redania. That's the only way we can chase that blasted beast away. We have no choice because normal cannonballs are no good against him. Alright, that's enough out of me. Time to go off to Redania. Yeah, I'm sure that's exactly what you're gonna do, buddy. Just peachy dumb traveler. Of course I'm not okay. <laughs> so blunt. I'm afraid I won't be going anywhere today. I hate to put you on the spot, but can you please go tell you noble that I'm gonna have to cancel for today? How are you gonna cancel saving your land? Well, I'll just have to reschedule. All right, he's gonna be at Elden Bridge. So, here's Elden Bridge. All the way over here. So, we are actually going to follow the path back around past the abandoned north mine 
and down and around because this actually is up higher. You can, however, if you really, really want to, you can fly up here. But for the sake of what we're doing here, I am just going to go all the way around. So here we go. And now this thing right here is really fun. Make sure it's facing the right way. Put a round ball. Make sure that it actually goes down in here. And it's just a little shortcut. It's not actually a shortcut, but they are really fun to operate. There are other things that you can do with it, too. Well, look at that. Oh, I knew I was going to scare away. Uh, but if you have using something metal in there and or using another one, you can actually like fly with them. I'll have to do a video demonstration at a later date. But you can move these around with your magnesis if it's not facing the right way or if like this one it's not on there. Also I wanted to show right here while we're by the water, I've got some hearts missing. There we go, see? All better. That was a whole lot of fun, wasn't it? But the rare ores, to me, are worth stopping. Alright, well, I guess we're not taking the train anymore. And you can see up there, there is a fire breath lizard. Oops, I was trying to get a picture of these guys. You listen for that music you can hear when an enemy is behind you. Alright, so there is also a shrine down here. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. And you can see we are right here. And this is the... Daka Coal Shrine. This is stalled light. So taking a look around, we see we've got platform down there, pushing that up, and every time it hits that, it opens the door. Now just to take a look around the room, we do have a chest there. Make sure there's nothing back here. Nope, okay. So 
what we are going to do first, while this is down, grab your wings, get up on here. I'm going to wait at this corner. When this one goes up, I'm going to do this so that I can get this chest. A hundred silver rupees. All right, so now we want to do the same thing. Get up on that big block. But this time, have your stasis ready, because when this goes up, we are going to stop time. Like so, and make our way right into here. And now we're going to check the map. Next to the name, we've got our treasure symbol. So yes, all of them have been completed. And we are locked in, but we are good to go. Okay, so we want to get back up to the path. I'm just going to cut through here. Alright, so there is Yonobu. And he's got company. So, make sure you get a powerful weapon. The easiest way would be to get these guys alone. I'm not sure how easy that's going to be, though. It's easier to fight them one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, the other one already knows I'm here. All right, so that method worked. And this is a drill shaft. These are nice. I like these. They aren't very strong, though. So just a thing to keep in mind. That worked. That is a good strategy, I guess. Before all his stuff burns up. So now let's go talk to Yonobo. Thanks for saving me, brother. I would have been in real trouble if you hadn't shown up when you did, Goro. No sign of boss, huh? Nope, he ain't coming. Not coming, but why, girl? His back hurts, mm -hmm. duh. You know this. Painkillers don't work. There's nothing we can do. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. You're not going back? Nope, I'm board Rudanya, man. It's happening. Yeah, I am. I am going to board. I am Lord Daruk. Mm -hmm. For sure. Just do this, man. I don't really get it, but I'm sure you have your reasons. The problem is, good old boss raised the bridge of Elgin to make Elden to make sure that mean divine beast couldn't get over here. 
In order to get where Rudania is, we'll have to find a way to get the Bridge of Elden back down. Boss wouldn't normally use the cannon to lower it, but we can't get across unless we figure something out. If Boss can't come down here, then he can't use the cannon to lower the bridge. That means we're out of luck, Goro. It occurs to me that you know how to use the canyons. Maybe. Yes, I'm sure. Let's do this. Yes. So he's going to get in there. And we're going to fire him off. So he goes in, does his thing. And then we send ours down. Now we want to aim this cannon at Elden Bridge. And set it off. There you go. You know boost is going to be fine. Don't worry. I know you're super worried. He's going to see stars for a minute, but all in all, he's got Druid's protection. He's fine. Okay, yep. Direct protection, protection is awesome. Yep, 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 yep. But our job is not done, man. We still have work to do. Okay, the Bridge of Elden is down. Let's quickly get across. Divine Beast Bawudanya. Bawudanya can sense our present and presence and is sending out sentries. So our next mission is going to be a stealth mission because we do not want to get spotted by these guys. I don't know about you, but I do not have the ancient arrows to get rid of them. Oh, yikes. A sentry is always a nuisance, no matter where it is or how many of them there are. If one finds you, Rudania will go nuts, which will cause Death Mountain to erupt. I always get spotted. The magma bombs come raining down one after another. If boss were here, he'd swat those magma bombs away like they were nothing and force his way up. I don't think I'll be able to do that. And I don't want to cause you any trouble. Maybe the best idea is for you to give me a signal to let me know when I should stop and I can move forward. Let's hurry up and decide what the signal will be. Goro, um, let's wink. A wink? Um... Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to see that from off in the distance, Goro. Try to think of something better. Any ideas? Mind powers. Wow, you mean like real life telepathy? I didn't know Highlands could do those sort of things these days. Are you transmitting yet, Goro? What the? I'm not receiving anything over here. He's so mad. Let's hurry and decide what the signal will be. Oh, oops, I already said that. I'm telling you, I won't be able to see a wink from that far away. <laughs> All right, how about a whistle? A whistle? That's a great idea. When I hear your whistle, I'll either stop in my tracks or start moving forward. I like it. Even though it's kind of like calling a horse, Goro. Okay, then. I'm counting on you and your whistles to make sure that I'm not spotted by those awful sentries. The whistle, just press down on your D-pad. Yep. That means he's not going to move. All right. That means he's coming with me. So we are going to follow, it's, you can, it's not actually a path, but you can see it's kind of set up like a path. All right, we're going to go this way. And here we've got our first sentry. He's going to stop about right here. And we're going to come get under that ledge there, as you can see it disappears. So we know that this area is safe to wait. We don't need to tell him to stop. We just need to not move ourselves. And now we're going to go forward. Once it's across. And now for the second one. First we're going to get these rocks out of the way. 
Tell him to wait. And now you can either just stasis him or you can come up here where there is some ores and up top, if you go all the way around, there is going to be a sledgehammer, a rare ore, and a regular ore. And you can push this rock off and kill him that way. Or like I say, you could just stasis him. And then we're going to tell Yunobo to come on and let's go. So we're going to keep moving forward. We're going to come to our first cannon. And once we get up there, he is going to do his thing automatically. We do not have to tell him to do it. Uh, but let him get in there. Put your round bomb. Hit the lever so that it aims at Rudania. And let it go. Alright, so now we're just going to continue on. We've got some ores over here. Now, I'm going to tell him to wait. And I'm going to climb up here. We've got some metal boxes. We're going to use our magnesis. And just shove it right into the sentry. I'm going to put this box right over here. I'm going to jump across. I'm going to take this one out. And now there's a couple different ways that you can do this one. You can either take the metal box over there and hit him with it and knock him out. I don't prefer to because I usually get hit. But there are some other ways that we can do it. And I will show you in just a second. So, where did we leave Yunobu at? Here he is. So I told him to wait because I'm going to grab this and I'm going to create a bridge for us. But we've got to hurry because sometimes that falls down. And we definitely don't want that. And so now that he's across... I'm going to tell him to wait, and I'm going to come up here and get this. All right. So now we're going to come up this way. And try not to get hurt too badly. I'm just not even going to give him a chance to swing, hopefully. Oh, he still got me. Let me go ahead and eat something. Alright, I want to see... Yeah, I would need those parts. Stay here, man, because I think there's another one. There's usually two. That one just happened to see me sooner. But I want to go double check, make sure there's not actually two. Before I bring him up. 
Okay, no, I think we're good. Turn this to hit Rudania again. So we are going to continue on. All right, so we got this guy spinning around and around. Once he gets past, we're just going to follow that. So I'm going to have him wait there. I'm going to wait till that passes. Yep. Follow that kind of avoiding everything so I can get up here. I can't even reach. See if we can push this boulder. Alright, there's one. There's two. There's three. Well, we lost that box. I'm gonna grab a box here. Whoops. Oh, I was really hoping that wasn't gonna go in there. See if I can set it down nicely somewhere. Nope, okay. I wanted to see about taking those guys out so that I could get those, but... Okay. It is what it is. Oh. Alright, so I'm gonna have him wait there. All my weapons are just breaking right now. Oh, jeez.
All right, Jeez Louise. Come on, Yanobu. Get in there. Put a licking on that thing, Link. It's time to finish the job. This is our big chance. And that's where I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I had a lot of fun today. I hope you had as much fun as I did. And until next time, be sure to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and punching that bell right in the face with your fist. So you're the first to know when new content is released. Thanks for watching.